Hello and welcome back to Atomic Adventures. Today's video we will be reviewing the GQ GMC-800 Geica counter. Enjoy! So this is the GQ GMC-800 and you can buy this on Amazon or um, the link below to GQ, GQ's website for about $100. Um, I'll just show you what it comes with first. So when you open the box, you'll get a, the Geiger counter itself. You'll get a nice case for portability and this nuclear radiation safety guide, which shows you the different um, counts per minute and dose rates and whether you should be concerned about what, you're, what it's detecting. So to turn it on, you're going to use this button and you're going to hold that until you hear it. And then we have these two, three other buttons. So this one will change what window you're in the different, the, to the different units. And then this one will change that part, the different menus. So we're going to start here in the dose rate window. So in this screen, you'll have the ability to change from counts per minute, microsieverts per hour, millirem per hour, and counts per second. On the screen, you will have the one that you selected in large, and then the other ones in a small table below. You can see that it gives you a nice little gradient from green to red of the different, um, of when it is detecting radiation. So you can switch it with this button to microsieverts per hour, then millirem per hour, and counts per second. The next screen, which you use this button to change, is the graphic screen. This creates a visual representation of the radiation events that it's detecting. This can be shown in millirem, counts per second, microsieverts per hour, and counts per minute. And it shows you the total amount of counts since this was first used as well as the current rate. So you can see a, a total of 0.24 millirem, 2.41 microsieverts, etc. The next function is the dosimeter function, which, like the other one, compounds the exposure that you received, and it's shown in either microsieverts per hour and millirem per hour. Now, I would not... Um, trust this entirely for dose rates as this is not energy compensated like um say the radia code but um so here the first screen you show it's shown in millisieverts and then it shows you the rate currently the average rate and how long it's been since this has first turned on and same thing when you switch it over to millirem then if you change the screen again to the history section it'll show you the timestamp and a graph so you can toggle through the graph and see the different peaks since this was first used so you can see there and it'll show you the current max the average and the previous max and that um can also be viewed in the computer application the final area is the menu section on here you can change the different preferences. So you'll use this button to select a certain thing, and then you'll use the other ones to toggle through it. So I selected user. You can go into click sound, and you can turn that on or off. You can go into alarm, you can turn that on or off, and you can change the threshold. Right now it's set at 120 counts per minute, 0.78 microsieverts per hour, or 0.078 micro, mi millirem per hour. Then you can get out of that by just hitting that. Beep volume, that just tells you what it's at, and right now it's at the maximum volume. Vibration, you can turn that on or off. Then you'll hit back there. You can go to the LED indicator, whether that you want that on, fast estimate, or you can delay it. Right now it's on dynamic, the speaker volume, etc. Then if you go to display, you can change it to dark mode, which um, 
changes the color so that it's a black screen instead. And you can adjust your brightness and your power saving when the backlight turns off. Then if you go down to save data, you can turn it into save mode or erase data, which will reset the dose, which will just delete any previous re recorded dose rates. Then we're going to go to configuration. First you have to hit out, then configuration. You can set the clock, the calibration, tube voltage, etc. Then you just have your about and reference guide. Now we're going to test how well this measures the radiation. And as you can see, we have my classic tech check sources, which are this uranium glazed plate and this uranium biscuit jar right there. So first we're going to try the biscuit jar by just setting it up against it. And you can see it's definitely picking it up. Um, again, with these type of Geiger counters, it takes a long time compared to the Radio Code or Ludlum. Um, but let me show you how it goes up once I put it inside. So, right now, it's at about 55 counts per minute. And it went up to 150 in here with the lid on, but we'll see what it does with it off. You can see that it's up to about 115 now, um, and it should trigger the alarm, yep. Um, the annoying thing about this is you can't acknowledge the alarm, so the only thing you can do to stop it um, is turning off the alarm itself. So I think we've seen enough of that. Now we'll let that reset itself. And we'll move on to the uranium glaze plate. Okay, so here we have the um, uranium plate. This is actually what I used to figure out that this was radioactive. I didn't suspect it would be, but um, it was. <laughs> And again, this one takes a long time for to read, so I'll just skip ahead until it starts ticking up. You can see that it's up to around 40. Um, I think it's gotten up to like 70 or 80, but that's been sitting there. And I know that it, that's we're not going to do that. Now we're going to move on to my final thoughts. Okay, let me give you my final thoughts on this Geiger counter. This is a very relatively affordable Geiger counter at coming in around $100, depending on where you get it from. It is definitely worth it. Um, you get a nice large screen, many different functions, um, many different features. You can see that um, it uses a tube, Geiger, regular Geiger tube, so it only detects beta and gamma radiation. Um, but if you're first starting out, I would m much rather recommend the Radio Code 103, which I just did a review on, as I feel that um, it's more, I definitely think it's better because this takes a long time to compound um, counts, as you saw, and I just think the Radio Code has more features at a rel only around $200 more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like, subscribe, and if you enjoyed it, stay tuned. Thank you.